The House of Reps introduces the INVEST Act, but it might not be enough for one transit agency. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with the top news stories we were following the week ending June 5th. Number 4. After an April 24th derailment left damage to a vehicle overpass in Shreveport, Louisiana, emergency repairs continue to be on hold. The Spring Street overpass carries traffic along State Route 1 and into Shreveport. Contractor Huval and Associates was told to start the bridge repair work on May 15th, but as of June 1st, the contractor was still gathering materials and bringing equipment to the job site. Work is scheduled to begin in the coming weeks. Number three, the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority's Board of Directors is suspending a $3 million study of light rail connectors from Rancho Cucamonga to the Ontario International Airport in favor of a proposal to build a 2.8 mile underground Ontario airport loop that will be handled by Elon Musk's Boring Company. The loop project will have a tunnel system that is 35 feet underground and 14 feet wide. Number two, the House of Representatives has introduced the Investing in a New Vision for the Environment and Surface Transportation in America Act. The measure calls for a five-year, $494 billion investment, including $165 billion for transit and rail. The measure also appears to include money for the Gateway Project, which will construct two new train tunnels connecting the city of New York with the state of New Jersey. No word yet on when the Senate expects to introduce its long-term transportation bill. Number one, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Sound Transit could permanently lose 23% in sales taxes, $1 billion in 2020 and 2021, and as much as $12 billion through 2041. Sound Transit is looking at a number of options to save its massive system expansion, including extending debt payments, breaking up lines into phases and pulling some features from planned routes. No one outstanding engineer? Time is running out to submit him or her for RTNS's Engineer of the Year Award. The winner will be recognized at ARIMA's annual meeting and expo in September in Dallas. Nominations are due by June 26th. To nominate, use the URL you see on your screen. That's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending June 5th. You can check out the latest news at www.rtns.com. You can also find us on social media. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, everyone.